Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, February 28, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment in college basketball. Uh, first, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member of DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or anybody else for that matter on the site. Again, $60 free account. Get started by clicking on the link below the video. A couple of things to report from last night, tell you what's going on on Thursday before we get to the free pick. First of all, last night, a split with big plays. We lost in the NBA, uh, still on a run of almost $3,000 ahead for $100 per unit betters going back to January 2nd, but we did go 0-1 last night. Thought Boston was in a spot to bounce back well and defeat Portland, the game in Boston, but they fell short 97-92, having some issues in Boston right now that I'm sure they'll work out as we get closer to the postseason. Uh, but again, uh, we did go down in defeat in the NBA with that one play last night. We did win our top play, a big play in college basketball last night. And just one play, a uh, premium play at DocSports.com in college baskets last night. And that was a winner on a five-unit college basketball play. We're now 5-0 and this week with college basketball, up $1,600 this week alone for $100 per unit players. We're now also up to a 61% run with the last 36 in college basketball overall. And I've got a big six-unit play going on Thursday in college basketball, posting one premium play on Thursday's basketball card. It's a six-unit play. We expect it to be a wide-margin winner, a blowout, and uh, it's available on Thursday morning over at DotSports.com. We'll look to extend the run to 6-0 and this week. And again, 61% our last 36 plays as we head Closer to March Madness. By the way, in the NBA for uh, Thursday, we do have one play, and it will also be available Thursday morning at DocSports.com. And again, despite going 0-1 in the NBA last night, still up almost $3,000 since January 2nd for $100 per unit players. We won last night in the NHL. We've got one more, or I should say one NHL play going on Thursday's slate. We're now 77-57 and 57, uh, with our last 134 NHL plays, so you'll want to grab that also. All the plays led by that six-unit college basketball play, top elite play, available Thursday morning .sports.com. Hey, I wanted to mention a couple of things. We gave out the Seattle Mariners under 71 wins a couple of days ago. We, we mentioned uh, that we'd likely have another uh, baseball over-under wins total play on today's video, but we're going to have to push it back one day. Uh, we got really involved in our power ratings updates uh, on Thursday morning, or excuse me, on Wednesday morning and Wednesday night. And uh, obviously right now as we head into March, those are a little bit more important to us because we've got games on a daily basis than getting that wins total out. But we will have it for you on Friday's card because I've got all my college basketball power ratings updated. And that's kind of why we're also running a little bit late if you're looking for our typical videos at 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific. We're a little bit late tonight as we updated our college basketball power ratings before we handicapped Thursday's card. So I uh, wanted to mention that our next baseball over under wins total will be part of Friday's video along with the college or pro basketball free pick. And also uh, we've been asked about this a couple of times uh, over the last oh, 10 months or whatever it's been since we jumped on board at DocSports.com. Uh, we were asked uh, on our Twitter account a couple of uh, direct messages on if we'll bring our NASCAR bets to DocSports.com. And the answer is yes. We will have NASCAR picks. Uh, we go back to 1997 since we started betting on NASCAR. And i got to be honest with you, I was not a NASCAR fan, uh, but I saw what I thought was some value when I was co-hosting the old Stardust Line show uh, right smack dab in the middle of the strip back in the mid-late 90s. And again, we jumped into the NASCAR betting game around 1997 and cleaned up. I mean, absolutely tore it up in the left turn circuit and have even had our, our uh, bets rejected or refused action at a couple of local spots here in town in Las Vegas, uh, going all the way back to, again, the late 90s. And we continue to bet NASCAR. A lot more matchups uh, than we used to have in NASCAR. Uh, but uh, we've put together some nice wins. 22 to 1 shot back in the late 90s. In fact, with Bobby Hamilton, we have had great matchup runs over the last couple of years. But again, We'll finally bring that to DocSports.com uh, over, if not this week in Las Vegas, with the race in Las Vegas next week, then the next race, uh, we'll definitely have our NASCAR picks available over at DocSports.com. But a uh, quick story, I can tell you there's myself and a professional better here in town by the name of Sean Hess. 
Uh, we used to bet NASCAR quite a bit. We would meet at a local casino in Las Vegas on Sunday mornings, generally about 7, 7.30 a.m. Pacific time, have a little breakfast, go over all the picks, uh, the two win bets. We'd always have at least three of those, the matchup bets, maybe a couple of proposition picks. And uh, I, I can tell you that, in fact, way back in the, the race that Dale Earnhardt Sr. passed away in, and we had Dale Earnhardt Sr. in that particular race along with a couple of other drivers. We won a couple of matchups there. Uh, but we walked up to the window and uh, tried to make a play on an over-under uh, over under totals prop on the amount of cautions uh, that were going to be involved in the Daytona 500 in 2001. And uh, boy, I tell you, we just got turned down for the amount we wanted to play. In fact, uh, we know the sportsbook director there at the time very well, and he happened to be at the Daytona 500. And again, it was about a couple of hours before uh, race time, and we knew that Goodyear had just switched to a new tire and that teams were having a problem with these new tires in practice. So we felt the over-under wins total didn't reflect uh, the trouble that the teams were having with the new tires. Tried to make the big bet. We're not allowed to do so at that casino and a couple of others. And so Sean and I had to play it for a less amount because the sports book writer and supervisor at this particular book actually called the sports book director at the Daytona 500 uh, and he asked if it was us that was making the bet. And when we, when they told him yes and gave him the names, he said, you're going to have to lower that bet. We can't go max bet on that. And they did. And uh, we won that particular bet on that 2001 Daytona 500. But uh, uh, just some great stories to talk about when it comes to NASCAR betting. Is it my favorite sport to watch? Absolutely not. It's not. Listen, I like it. I don't love it. Uh, but again, when it comes to making money, I love that part of it. And uh, that's why we'll be bringing NASCAR to DocSports.com. Didn't mean to spend all that time on NASCAR because I know a lot of folks don't even care to watch it. But if you'd like to make some money on it, be sure to check it out. Again, the big play on Thursday is the six-unit play in college basketball. We look to go to 6-0 and in this week's college baskets. Let's get to the free pick for Thursday. I'm going to go out to the West Coast Conference late night left coast game on Team 646. That is San Francisco minus about a half a dozen points over San Diego. It's the only team San Francisco outside of Gonzaga that's posted a 20-win season thus far. They're 21-7 straight up, yet they trail St. Mary's for second place by a game. They trail BYU for third place by half a game, but they can catch those two teams. Only one team has beaten San Francisco on their home floor in 14 home games this season, and as you might have guessed, it was Gonzaga. Uh, the Dons are extremely stingy on the defensive end of the floor, especially at home. They only give up about 65.5 points per game on this floor. And San Diego, coming to town here, they take about 40%, lower, little over 40% of all their shots on the road from behind the arc. The problem is they make less than 32% of those shots. And San Francisco, as I mentioned, playing stingy defense, they only allow just over six made three-pointers per home game to their guests. I think it's a tough spot for the Toreros of San Diego. Plus, almost forgot to mention, San Francisco has revenge for a 67-63 loss at San Diego earlier this year. And in that game, the Dons led San Diego uh, by 11 points at the break. So they're up double digits early second half, and they go ice cold and fail to win that basketball game. I expect different results tonight right, for San Francisco to get, uh, to get their revenge and to get the win by spread covering margin. I expect about a 10-point win out of the Dons. On Thursday night. So again, our free pick is on San Francisco minus six over San Diego. And again, the three plays over at DocSports.com on Thursday morning include the NHL, the NBA, and the six unit play in college basketball. As we like to go to six and zero on the week in college baskets at DocSports.com. Uh, last night, also a nice and another winner here in college basketball, the Drake Bulldogs. Let's get San Francisco in the win column tonight. All right, listen. If you like the videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. We Certainly appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column. Right back here Friday morning with a free basketball pick. Plus, our next Major League Baseball wins total. We'll make sure to have that for you on Friday's video. Best of luck on Thursday. We'll talk to you Friday morning.